No, we're going to restart the full verse first. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. Ooh, read it And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Stop. If. If. You know why I said if? Because everybody that hear the gospel of Jesus Christ would not choose to serve the Lord. I don't care how much you tell them they need to get right, how many times they hear the word of God, they don't made up their mind, I ain't studying it, it's foolishness, I ain't ready, I ain't going to do it, they're going to continue to keep playing with their life. My God. Some of them get caught in there. Mm -hmm. Amen. Huh? If we go into the rest of the Lord, they talking about salvation, all they talking about salvation, Amen. all they talking about being saved and live the rest of your life and the time you got to live, you can live being saved. Amen. Read. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief. Why did they make it? Why some folk didn't make it? Unbelief. Unbelief. Mm -hmm. It was foolish to them to hear preaching. They didn't want to hear the preaching. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to hear what God said the Lord. They didn't hear what the Lord has said He had done for them. And because of their unbelief, they died and they went to hell. They could not enter the rest of God. Jesus. Read. Again, he limited. Woo! Did you see it? Amen. Again, he limited. That means it's a certain time. What, what time would he limit? Read. A certain day, saying, and day. Start going back. A certain what? Day. day. Okay. It ain't talking about Tuesday. You can get it all already out of your mind. It ain't talking about, I'm going to get saved fine. You're lying. <laughs> the Lord showed me I'm going to get you saved. No, you, you're lying to yourself. I'm going to tell you what day it is because he don't limit the day. Amen. Read on. Today. Woo! What day? Today. Today is the most important time in your life. If you will do the right thing, if you will make the right choice, if you will be man enough or woman enough to give your life to the Lord. You see why I said be man enough or woman enough to give your life to the Lord? By the call the last verse in this chapter, they're going to tell you it takes boldness. It takes a woman of God. It takes a man to say, I want to be saved. I'm going to surrender and give my life to the Lord. It takes a man to say, I want to be saved. I want to serve the Lord. It takes boldness. Amen. I'm, Amen. To I'm, I'm true to what I'm telling you in the world. Amen. But if you get saved, you say, what? Read it today, what? Today, after so long a time. Uh-huh. As it is said, today. No, it said what? Tuesday. Today. Today. Tuesday. Today. Wednesday. Today. I said it is said today if you what? We'll hear his voice. Harden not your heart. You ain't got to go out the same way you came in. Amen. If you ain't saved, they said, no, you ain't got to go out with your heart still hard. And if you do, do you know what you do? All you do is get a heavy ammunition. You give him more ammunition for you. It'll be easier for you to say no the next time. Every time you deny him, every time you say you don't want him and stuff, it makes it easier for you to say no the next time. Mm -hmm. That's how the enemy works. Amen. But now on the other hand, you got some folk considering it. Because the Bible says it takes a wise man and a wise woman, hey, to what? To consider those things. Mm -hmm. What did that mean? They ponder it. Mm -hmm. They have not made a decision yet, but yes, still yeah, they make a decision to say, Lord, I'm going to serve you. Amen. That's a wise person. Mm -hmm. And the Lord give them time to get saved, give them life, but he wanted to do it today. Today. Amen. Free. For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day. Woo, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He ain't talking about another, he's talking about today. When God came to deliver, he wanted to deliver them that day. He didn't wait the next week. He didn't tell all the folk, get yourself together. I'm going to come down here next week and save y'all. Mm -mm. When he got the children in and out of there, it was that day. He said, look, take everything, get up and come up out of there. He said, do it now. now. Don't wait. Get up and get in the hurry. Do it today. Amen. Read. There 
remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. It is salvation reading. Mm -hmm. For he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, mm -hmm. as God did from his. Read. Mm -hmm. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest. Uh -huh. Read. Lest a man fall after the same example of unbelief. Now that means don't look after you hear the word of God. And after you hear good teaching and good preaching and stuff, it, it, it ought to bring you to a decision somewhere. Mm -hmm. If it puts you in the valley of decision somewhere in your life, you better pray every day, Lord, let me get there. Lord, please, Lord, please, let me get saved. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said, now is a certain time. Amen. God will ask, when, when should I get saved? When, look, the Bible said, now. Now. Mm -hmm. It said, now. You can give your life to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Read on. For the word of God is quick. See, when the word, see, when the, when the word is being preached, it, it's quickened. It, it touches your heart now. It touches your mind. It touches your soul. It Amen. just touches your body. It's all over your feet. You can feel God. You know God is in the midst. You know God is dealing with you. You know God is talking to you. He's dealing with your heart what you should do. Amen. It's quick. Read. Powerful. And powerful. Go ahead. And sharper than any two-edged sword, mm -hmm. piercing even to the dividing of son of, of soul and spirit. True. He talking to your soul and your spirit. Mm -hmm. He trying to help you. The Lord trying to bring you out of that bondage. Mm -hmm. He trying to deliver you from whatever is hindering you from coming to the Lord. Amen. Read. And of the joints and marrow. God don't miss nothing. Mm -hmm. When He do it to you, He gonna do a good job. You're going to know you're saved. Huh? Folks will recognize there's a chain that comes in your life. Amen. They can look at you and tell you, I look at you, what do you mean? Amen. So look at him, look at him. He got something. Amen. She got something. So that's how God deal with you. Amen. Amen. And there's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Ooh, God knows what you're going to read. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. I read. But all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him mm -hmm. with whom we have to do. Mm -hmm. Look at God. God see everything. Ain't nothing here that won't be revealed. Amen. God know everything. He know you're coming and you're going. He know why you do, why you don't. You read. Seeing then that we have a great high priest uh -huh. read. that is passed unto the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. I read. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmity, uh -huh. but was in all points tempted like we are, yet without sin. Now stop that. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? God see everything, God know everything, God touch every infirmity, everything that you're going through, God already know what you're going through, what you're going through, how you're going through. He know how you feel about it. He know why you do what you do. He know why you've done what you've done and everything. Amen. You can't hide it from God. He already know. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 For we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with our feelings. He know how you feel the infirmity. Mm -hmm. He know what you're going through, your sickness and disease and everything that you feel. He said, but in, in all part, he's tempted like that. Everything you're being tempted with, God already been tempted with. It ain't nothing that's too hard for God that God can't deliver you from it and that you can't live right before God. Amen. Then it said, yet without sin. When you get to say this, you can't live wrong. Live mm -hmm. one day at a time. Now the last verse gets to the point that I'm going to get out of your way. After hearing this word, look what it says. Let us therefore come. What? Boldly. Boldly. It takes a man. It takes a woman. To after hearing this word, and say, Lord, this is what I want. I want to make heaven my home. I desire to go to him. I see that you have a plan. You have made a way for it. And yes, I do believe in your son Jesus. Amen. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy mm. and find grace and help in the time of need. Amen. Mm. Amen. You see how merciful God is? Amen. Amen. Even after all the decision making, 
<laughs> and all the denying that folks have done after he tried to help them, his mercy, his hand still extended out to them. Amen. Amen. Know why? Because he's still hoping that somebody will get saved. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's the only reason why the Lord ain't sent his son back right now. Because he's still seeing somebody that needs to be saved don't be long. That's Amen. the only reason. Amen. That's the only reason why the Lord is holding up. His mercy, the hand still standing out. Mm -hmm. I thank God for you took the time to sit and hear this word. Mm -hmm. But the most important time in your life uh, today is today. Amen. Thank God for you. The scripture said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth, believe in thy heart, that God has risen Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Mm -hmm. At this time of this moment, I spend that time here and would like to give your life to the Lord if you can. <clears throat> It takes a man to do it, it takes a woman to do it. Amen. You can come down. Amen. Praise the Lord.